I'm searching for new job opportunities here in Hong Kong. I have never introduced myself in the videos. I'm Eddie. I'm a UX UI designer living here in Hong Kong. I moved to Hong Kong like a one year something ago. I'm searching for new job opportunities here in Hong Kong or remotely or even just thinking to do freelancing. So I have been posting like regular video blogs here and there and I wanted to do like a small shift. I don't only want to show my life here in Hong Kong but I also want to talk about my experience as a designer. I want to use this new format just to be able to get more comfortable talking to the camera, talking to you guys and also have the chance to improve my English too. But before going to the clubhouse, I wanted to talk about the UX market currently, not only in Hong Kong, but uh, worldwide. I have been reading for a while that it's harder than ever to be able to find UX design jobs. I remember when I have started as a UX UI designer, it was before the pandemic, doing an internship in Munich from January to March. I still I could land a freelance job. I still had a few interviews with only three months of experience. There is a lot of competition between job seekers and there is a low amount of job openings. I have sent a lot of application and there is no feedback. Like the recruiters are not replying you back to even to reject you. They just directly just ghost you. One company reached out to me to say, you know, we receive your application we're going to go through it and if in three weeks you don't have any response it means that we don't have any job available for you at the moment also a job posting get like hundreds of applications in just a few hours it's just crazy and sometimes i see the same company posting the same job like reposting the job over and over again the only thing we can do is just stay positive just keep sending learn new things new skills and Maybe we'll have to do more networking, you know, reach out more to the recruiters on LinkedIn, maybe reach out more the people that are already working in these companies to know about the, the job position of the culture. I'm going to start to modify my cover letter and my resume first, and then I will send, send a few resumes. And after that, what I want to do is keep studying. So, yeah, this is a really difficult moment, but I'm going to go through it, search a nice job, learn new things, and for now, let's go to the clubhouse and let's see how the day goes. So I just went back from the clubhouse. I was working like a more than two hours already. I went to the clubhouse a bit early. I just finished the resume. I finished the cover letter too. I sent a few job offers too. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get ready to yoga class and then maybe I will have lunch nearby and I will just, you know, study somewhere. Maybe I will walk around after studying just to be able to relax a little bit. And yeah, so let's go.
for the out. Outline, set the color. Now select a lift. Today is really hot here. I washed my hair before and I went to, to yoga class and I put my hair up again because I just feel like all my hair is just getting stuck here because it's so hot and humid. So I went back home. I studied a little bit. Today was so productive, but I just remember that I have to go to the grocery store because we don't have veggies or tofu at all. I have to go to the supermarket, buy a few things, go back here, I will keep studying and maybe I will go to the gym a little bit because on Fridays we used to go to the gym. Usually on Fridays I don't go to yoga class, but today was an, uh, a special day because one yoga class yesterday was cancelled, so I just changed it for today. So yeah, let's go!